what's up everyone this is Cali 2011 and I'm starting a new series it's going to be a manager mode and here are a couple of teams that are in prospect QPR whose best player is Julio Cesar who's an 82 overall he's a boss keeper no idea why he's at QPR next is Norwich uh, their best player is John Ruddy another goalkeeper overall of 75 don't know what he's going to get to probably quite high but he's good Reading who are an alright team not the worst. Their best player is Pogrigniak, who's a 77. Next is Southam Southampton. There we go. Their best player is Lalana, who's just got into the England team, I think. He's a 77. Next is the mighty Stoke City. Their best player is Matthew Everington, who's a 79 overall. Uh, next is Sunderland. Their best player is Watchman Flick. Sessignon, who's 82, is boss, just not playing very really well at the moment in real life. Next is Swansea City, who play awesome football. Their best goalkeeper, best player is the goalkeeper, who is Michelle Vaughan, who's an 81. Next is West Brom, who have two joint best players. One is Peter Udenwingi, the Nigerian, and next is the English goalkeeper, Ben Foster, who should be in the England team, but he's class. Next is West Ham, whose best player is the Lanky Giant, who is too big that we can't even get his face on. He's a 78. Next is Wigan, who their best player is a goalkeeper again. Ali Al Habsi, he's a 79. Lastly is Aston Villa, whose best player is the big Daza, also known as Darren Bent. <laughs> Team I'm going to choose is Drumroll, please. Yes, marvellous. Achrington Stanley. No, I'm only joking. They're crap. Aston Villa is a team I'm going to be using because they're predicted to be bottom. And I'm going to prove that I'm such a sick manager that they're not going to come bottom. They're going to come second to bottom. No, I'm only joking. They're not going to come second to bottom. They're going to get out of the relegation and we're going to try and get them to as high as possible. Like Premiership or Champions League standard. Mm hmm? Good stuff, eh? Um, just going to put the Champions League and the Euros in, so we're not going to be in it. So hopefully that gets some of the opposition's players injured, which is good. Smiley face. Um, this is my name. I'm going to call myself Drew Peacock. If you say it slowly, it sounds like Drew Peacock. Yeah. <laughs> kind of hilarious like that. Um, track suit or a suit. I chose suit. Go with grey. Regular. They don't have... Massive hench, but you know, that's what I would be. That's no drink weight. League objectives. They just don't want us to get relegated, really. <laughs> if I don't avoid relegation. I mean, if I do avoid, avoid relegation, I have completed my league objective, which is pretty easy, I think. The board want me to get into, or get, or reach the quarterfinal at least, minimum. Which I think we can do, but we might not, as you see in the video. I put a load of youth players up for sale. I sell this old bloke. And as you can see, I loan out loads of youngsters, like 19, 20 under. Depends what their overall is. I don't know who he is. I've never seen him play for Villa, but he's on loan and he's 29. So I recall him. He's a 75. Let's see how he plays. Um, the first player I want to sign is Nathan Redmond, as you can see here. He is a 69, he's going to be good. They want 1,500,000, so I offer them 2 million because I have all the money in the world to spend. <clears throat> I wish. Uh, there's my team. Not bad, as you can see. The right back is my worst uh, position. I, mean, don't know. I think he's the only right back, so I'm going to go out and get a right back first to spend me dough. After, no, second, sorry, after I hopefully buy Nathan Redmond. Um, try and loan Raphael, but which I didn't realise he's actually an important player. So, which we'll see in a couple of minutes that we get rejected. Yay! Um, Angelo Henriquez, or I don't know how you say him actually. God, he's new. Uh, Man U, he's a Chilean striker. Let's see, I mean, Sparadic. No idea what that means. Uh, oh yeah, they accepted the offer. Marvelous. He wants 3000 3, you know, that's a really hefty uh, wage. <laughs> so I'll give him it. Call him nice, like that. Transfer offer. And they accept the um, 
Enrique Low, which is very good. He'll get played every once in a while. Like Ross County. Uh, one Marshall. Give him to him for free. Bernard. He's a great player. Center attack and mid for one of the Brazilian teams. Who is it? <sighs> Atletico Mini. Mini, mini oh, fuck it. Um, don't have enough, which is gutting because he's a boss player. But I add him to my shortlist and. Hopefully we will get him down to the club next year, maybe, hopefully. Uh, loan, rejected from Raphael, like I said. Um, next player, person I want to buy, is a right back. For at least 5 million. Um, 17, I ch actually changed that from 27 to 25, because it's a bit much. First person I want to... Uh, first candidate is Gregory Deville, I think it said. And loan this fella out. They want to buy Stylian Petrov, I don't think it will get played that much and the more money I have the more people I'll be able to buy so I'll buy a centre mid so I accept your generous offer. They re uh, reject Van der Weel and the greedy bastard can't agree uh, <laughs> a move to stay breast. Hmm, boobies. Loan out that goalkeeper fella. Uh, right back, Nathaniel Klein. Who's just got a transfer from Southampton? The next person is Mario Fernandez. Never heard of him in my life, but he had good stats, so I'm gonna buy him. They both get rejected because they've just moved. Did not know that. Next candidate is Martin Kelly. They I offer five million. Um, just in case that that doesn't work, I get or oh, try and get Serge Aurier. Never heard of him or Hugo Ma Mayo Malo. I don't know if he's Spanish, it'll be Mayo. They all get rejected. Fuck, 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 fuck. But Sergei or Sergei or whatever you want is the cheapest and I want him. So I'll try and buy him. That transfer offer, which you can see below, is just a loan offer. So you're not missing anything. For e Ender Stevens, never heard of him. Man, you want to buy Dortmund's Hummel? Hummels? Hope they do that in real life because he's a class centre back and really really need one. First friendly, I don't really give a shit about friendly, so I just um, sim them. And here is the starting lineup. Uh, that went really quickly. <laughs> uh, we drew one one, which is incredibly well considering I wasn't playing because I will play like a boast, hopefully. <laughs> Uh, Sir J or whatever you call him says yes. I reject an offer from Liverpool for Dazza Bent, ten and a half million, two million six hundred for a bongo whore. That's stupid. There's the team for the next friendly, which is against a Spanish team, which I forgot their name of. It's Espanol. Yeah, I knew that. We win one nil. Okay, Redmond scores, which is beautiful. We finally sign Aureli o Aurea. I don't know how to say it. Uh, try and buy centre mid on the Herrera, Herrera from Atletico Bilbao, the best player, and I try and buy him 10.5 million from buying Leverkusen for Daza Ben to get rejected. They expect us to come 20th, Darren Ben being the best player. Barry Bannon is expected to be setting up all the goals, and Bilbao we win 2 1. Beauty! Uh, next, I go for loans for a midfield player. Jonathan Dos Santos from Barcelona is my first candidate, and they accept, so there we go. Um, Karim El Hamadi, or Ahamad, yeah, Ahamadi, wants to play after he's been injured. He's been injured, or what do you call it, all summer. I don't want to play him because we don't want to get him injured because I think he's a good centre mid. Here's the team, which will be starting against West Ham in the first game. Beautiful. Here it is. Aston Villa against the almighty West Ham. They are expecting us to come 20th, so don't expect, expect a result. You know, I am going to win. <laughs> Any hope. Let's see the game. Not a very good start at all. Dunn gives the ball to Ireland. Carroll gives it to Jarvis, and he scored. Horrendous keeping from the big shake given. Redmond gives the ball to Bongle Hall, great effort, save from Fernando Pras, a keeper who I've never heard of. Jarvis switched the ball in and Collins scores, which is proper gay. 
the uh, winning 2-0 in the 40th minute. O'Brien clears it. Bongo Hall gets the ball. He managed to worm his way through and he slots it in the bottom right hand corner. And we run back. Come on, the boys. 2-1. Half time. We can pull this back. Carroll sends the ball to Nolan. Crappy defending from Floir. Not that I could. It wasn't me controlling. Even worse shot. Should have taken a shot off, but he didn't. Make some subs. I take. Ireland off for whoever that was, and Enrique, nope, Delft on for McCoolan. Let's hope this improves the way we play. Redmond with the ball in, and Vla, no, Dawn gets injured, which is not good at all. Make another sub. Don't have any more centre backs, so I'm going to have to loan someone. Uh, there we go. Bob should uncle. Bangla Hall was the man of the match for us. Don't know who was the man of the match altogether. We will never know. <laughs> Here is the next Premiership game. It's the mighty Aston Villa, who is controlled by myself, as you should know, against Everton at home at Aston Villa's ground, who I have forgotten what it is called. Forest Park, that's not it, I don't think. We don't seem to have the stadium, some people told us it's quite annoying. But anywho, on with the game, Darren Bentz worms his way through and scores beautifully. Al Alhamidi gets his first game for me and nearly scores. Ooh, that would have settled it probably. And the big Coleman had too much time and managed to volley it into the goal. Lasso, one one at half time. So I decided to make some tactical substitutions because I am a boss. I bring on some players which I forgot I did. Barkley has a great effort. Well, no, great chance. Sorry. And Henriquez, look at this on his debut. Go, 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 Fabian Dell for Ireland and uh, oh, someone else for all Brighton. Bannon, I think it was. There we go, 2-1. One, one. Henriquez laying the ball off for Bent. A goal and assist for Henriquez. That's a good start. Is that the new partnership? Is a Bongla Hall going to be made to play on the wing? We will find out the next episode or the episode after or the episode over that. Darren Bent gets man of the match from his two goals. Don't know if he got the assist for Henriquez. I don't think he, actually, already did. Two goals and one assist. Beauty. Uh, I want to loan a defender because we have a load of injuries. Mark Bartra from Barcelona. They have loads of young players. You want to loan out. Is the first person I want. Next is Bruma. I want to loan him on the left wing just so we have enough players. See if they get accepted soon. Next game is Charlton in the. Don't know what cup it is. One of them. Who cares? We still need to win. Ivy Lane. Don't they, don't they, why don't they have the stadiums annoying? Benteke is a great effort. Great save by whoever that keeper was. Bradley Wright Phillips. Yes, related to Sean. Has a. Good chance, but Kuzan gets big and saves. He has another one, misses again. Should be on a hat trick, but no. Ben Deke's goal, 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 goal. I was just shooting for the banter, thinking it would be funny, but ah, finally scores. That's one of his three proper, 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 proper chances he's taken. Uh, Charlton get the ball. Look at that, Emmanuel Fringpong. Great save from Guzan. Uh, Enriquez gets an opportunity, messes it up, what a shame. Uh, this is extra time, because it's 1-1. One, one. They get it, they get it, they give it to Fuller, who used to play for Stoke. Ah, oh, fuck. And they score. We've lost to Charlton, that's embarrassing. <sighs> the embarrassment. Uh, both the loans get accepted. We sign Mark Barter first, and then sadly we don't have a high enough wage. I know the squad's too big, so I'm gonna sell Petrov or at least try to. Cheers for watching, everyone. Kaligi 2011. Boo.